she was one and a half years old, she could speak. But by her third birthday, she had lost that ability. It's all because of autism. This is the story of Nanaya Kufo. I went through pregnancy like any other parent would. Nine months and then, you know, I had her. She was a perfect baby. There was nothing wrong at, at birth. One and a half, she started talking. And just before the onset of the third age, before she was three, I lost all the words. You know, she wasn't talking again. I remember very well one of the words that she used to say was men munsu. We actually speak a lot of tree at home, so men munsu means I want water. So she was doing that quite a lot. And I remember that very well. So when she wants water, she would come and actually make a request. And of course, it's also something that three year olds should be able to do. But just after three, there were no ways. This is 11-year-old Nana Yakufo. She was diagnosed with autism when she was only three years old. Autism is a disorder that affects the brain. It is irreversible, meaning there is no cure for this. Autism has affected Nanaya's ability to interact and communicate with other people. So she is given special games to play, like using colored rice that is specially designed to help her recognize the texture, sound, smell, taste and color of objects. This activity is known as sensory integration therapy. It changes how the brain reacts to touch, sound, sight and movement. Autism is a spectrum disorder. It affects every child differently. Mm. Her autism was quite severe, very severe. She got toilet trained at nine years, so you can imagine. Even having to deal with two, three-year-olds is not that easy. So nine, you say she's practically an adult, so it has been very difficult. But now she's toilet trained and everything is fine. We went back to the hospital. And they referred us to her hearing center. We went there and he was actually the, the first doctor that said, have you heard about autism? And I said, yes. Somebody told me about it. Then he also said, I think your daughter may be autistic. And that was the worst day of my life. Nanaya's condition has had an effect on her family, especially on her mother, who had to abandon her teaching career to care for her full time. I'm not working because I have so much issue to do with. I've resigned from teaching. It's been a long journey, but it's been worth it too. I have gone through tons of training, both outside and within Ghana. I particularly did the sunrise training. I've done the advanced sunrise training, which is also another form of therapy that is very good for children, you know, before the age of five, because I truly believe in that therapy for children who are under five. Happy birthday. Yesterday we had a birthday for a friend. Happy birthday to you. In Ghana, many people view autistic children as punishment from God. Nanaya's mother Mary, however, disagrees. It can happen to anybody, any race, irrespective of your background. Not that somebody has done something bad, like some Ghanaians want to believe that, you know, God is punishing you for something you might have done. No, it can happen to anybody. Eight years after Nanaya's diagnosis, she has made a huge improvement with her communication skills. They may, you know, act aloof to what you're saying or may not necessarily understand what you're saying to them, but they do hear. They do hear. Give me five. And a blow, a finger, and a kiss. Can I get a kiss? Okay. Do you want us to go for a walk? Do you want to go for a walk? Do you want to go for a walk? Her mom says it is partly due to the special diet her daughter has been on. She is on a special diet, what we call the gluten-free, kissing-free, soya-free diet. And she's not taking things like cocoa. She's not taking milk. She's not taking sugar. She's not taking anything that has flour content in it. You know, so pastries and bread you know, wheat, oats, and all that. So things that are gluten and casing in, she can't take them. Give me five. Can I get a kiss? Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you. But this special interaction between mother and daughter does not always go according to plan. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. What is it? 
So she's going through tantrums now. I don't know what it is. And she, she can't tell me what. So it, it's very disheartening, you understand. What is it that is worrying you that you can't tell me? I don't know. Mary Kufour is calling for government support. I think, you know, a way forward will be to lease with the already existing organizations. Okay, maybe support them with infrastructure. Maybe support them by training some of our doctors or our speech therapy. Because I know the speech therapy program is done in UK or other parts of the world and none of our universities have suffered that, not yet. So it would be good if some of them are sponsored into doing this. I don't know yet if Ghana has occupational therapy, something that our children with autism really need, but we don't have that as well. This is Charles, Nanaya's elder brother. He has had to learn to live with an autistic sibling. When I was in secondary school and then um, primary and GHS education, whenever you see your colleagues um, relating with your sister, you, you always wish that your sister could be like them like their sisters, so I could freely relate with them, but then that's not so. So it has been really difficult um, for me to witness to others what the problem my sister is having. Despite her peculiar condition, she is enrolled in mainstream education so she can interact with regular children. Interacting with the Kufour family helped me to appreciate the sacrifices families are making to ensure their children live regular lives. So this is from Nanaya to say thank you to Morty TV. Thank you. Nanaya, say thank you to everybody. Thank you. Okay.